Okay, Kalino Man here. We're with the uh, Helicopter Transport Services at Refugio State Beach. We're going to use a 3 to 1 dilution, Kalino Aviation Grade. As you can see, Kalino is a spray and wash product getting some of the grime off the uh, oh, yeah. exhaust off of the uh, back of the aircraft here. What kind of helicopter is this, Rick? This is uh, an S-61 um, Sikorsky aircraft. Uh, uh, we're, yeah, well, this is normally the dirtiest side of the aircraft, as you can see here. How do you like that Clino product? I think this is working good. Look at that. I think so. You might want to let it sit for just a little bit longer Does than that. Need yeah, it? you okay. need to let it work a little bit. The uh, enzymatic action help, and you'll probably just be able to see some of that just run it off. off. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can actually. Yep. I see the soot. Feel, yeah, you can see some of the soot running off right now. Mm -hmm. But that definitely is. Uh, so you, is what, how long do you need to? Go ahead and wipe there. it now. See if that makes any much of a difference. Yeah, see, it's taking all uh -huh. of that grime off of there now. Yeah, it does. So you don't need to go over with clean water or anything. It, no, no, it dries completely clean. There's no residue. See, I and like that. Now go ahead and wipe that paint there with your finger and see how how that feels to you. Oh yeah. yeah. What's it feel like? <laughs> like night yeah. and day? Oh yeah. See that's I can let me spray this. Yeah, go ahead and spray soaps. that again. Use as much of that as you want. That's what we're yeah. here for. Hold that bottle up for me. Let me get a shot of the label here yeah. on there. Here we go. Clean aviation grade, all purpose green cleaner. Alright, yeah, okay. wipe that down again, see if how that looks. Oh yeah, I can see the no tracks in it now. Oh yeah. Just like shining your sports car, isn't it? Yeah, but now I've got six acres to do. <laughs> I got a nice clean spot here. You just created a lot of work for me. <laughs> well, I guess this we're gonna have awesome. to make you a clean old customer. Yeah, that see that is. Is that about oh, the yeah. easiest you've ever cleaned this helicopter? It is. And I've I've been doing this for a long time and trying always trying to find a good cleaner. And the easier the cleaner works, it makes my job a lot easier. And not having uh, water, having to have water source is a big factor. You know, because a lot of the times you can't wash an aircraft where you're at because of the environmental impact right, that right. the soot. We're at an down. environmentally sensitive area right uh -huh. here at the State Beach. Yep. Just north of Santa Barbara, California. And, and that is nice. I can see it. And this, to the this rescue. is really an old paint job on this. Right. But I can see now it my looks like it's a new paint inside. job. You're gonna have to do the rest now. I know, that's what I was saying. Now we've got a nice clean spot. <laughs> so Clino is available awesome. at Clino.net. That is nice. Yep. So let me step back here. We'll get a little bit bigger picture of this helicopter. What are you using this chopper for out here, Rick? Right now we're using it to haul equipment out to the uh, beach for this oil spill that we are monitoring here. Uh, we've got a lot of equipment hitting the beach and crossing over tracks so they can't uh, put boom trucks and stuff out there so we have to use the helicopter to so your long line and equipment down onto Correct. the beach yeah we have a hundred foot line underneath of this and then we'll be taking the, the compressors and their equipment and dry ice down on the beach so that they can work on it and then uh, it um, having the aircraft here is more beneficial because they they only have a short window to work with the tides. Okay. So they have to be able to put the stuff out there, get 
get the stuff done during low tides when the tide comes in you have to get that stuff out pretty fast and the aircraft seems to be working really good for that. I got you. What, uh, give us the name of your company again and where are you from? We're from, uh, uh, our company is Helicopter Transport Services and we're out of Aurora, Oregon. Um, we've got our, we mostly work with fires. Uh, we use these things for fighting fires. Okay. Um, but we brought it down here for this job and working really good. Now, who are you contracted with uh, for this helicopter is here? It, uh, uh, is it Plain, Plains All-American Plains. Pipeline? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm the mechanic, so I don't know the right, logistics right. of a lot of this. I just keep it flying. There you go. But this definitely is going to make... Let's see that rag. Easier. Let's see how much soot we got off the rag. Yep. We started with a clean rag and... There we go, yep. we got a little bit more on that side. We got, uh, yeah, this was a clean one, and that was just a little bit of a spot. So, All right, folks, and so that's, you see how effective Clean-O is? And that's soot. That, that's and the that's carbon soot. soot. It hardened soot, burn-on soot, coming out of these exhaust ports right up here. All right, there you have it. This is Clean-O Man signing off.